Hello viewers, today we are going to learn how to make a fantasy scene or how to make a magic book fantasy scene in Photoshop of any version such like Photoshop CS6, Photoshop CC and Photoshop 2009. So let's begin our tutorial. So this is our model image and we are going to select this so we can see that the background image is white. So we are going with quick selection tool. This is the first process when your background is white or any other color then just select your model it is a quick process of selection now your selection is done and remove this line so go to minus and just resize the brush by using bracket button then remove this line then click on selection and mask so this one Make smoothness 1%, feather 0 and contrast straight, straight little bit make minus 2 then press ok or make new layer then ok. So your selection is completed. Now we are going to take a new file or new page. So go to file then click on new and select 1920 1920 you can manually set this i am i saved this you can manually set this size wideness and height resolution 300 this one is important then press ok your document page is ready or new file is ready now we are going to adjust our now we are going to set up the background so just this is our background image and this is our surface surface image so take this one and just drag and drop just minus this control minus to zoom out the image and adjust where you want to place your model now this is done Now take your background image and again drag and drop and just resize your image by holding shift and alt key. To provide this one amazing dynamic look. Now we are going to add a mask layer so click on the tree image and click on mask layer and click on brush tool take a soft brush and increase the size of brush by using bracket key and remove make this one 26 percent and remove this one Just remove these lines. Now you can see that your background is almost completed. Now we are going to place our model in that or this area. So just drag and drop your model in your main workplace. Resize your model by using shift and alt key or hold shift and alt key and then resize your image, model image. Place it. Now this one is placed. It's look not so good. So we are going again take another image to make this one more dynamic. So let's choose the image. Now I take this one. Just drag and drop and resize 
the image the background image i think this one looks pretty awesome now again use mask layer and just remove this one then click on mask layer and remove this one now it's look much better than before image so just now we are adding some more effect now we are going to add a shadow so take a blank layer then go to brush and just simply draw this and place it behind the model and just make this one into a flat surface and just adjust this just like this one now your shadow work is almost done now again take a blank layer then go to edit and go to fill and take this one 50% gray then okay right click and make create clipping mask then go to blending mode and click overlay now take a burn tool and apply in her leg portion now again take those two zoom your image or work image and little bit apply in that portion Now again take burn tool and make this one. Or set little bit burn tool in her hair because this one is looks so brighter. Make little bit darker. Now, now this one is almost done. and now we are going to add some extra images and blending mode so this one is our image and just drag and drop and make this one as resize this one as per your page and go to blending mode and take a screen now go to mask layer press brush and remove this outer lines now now this one is done again take more extra, uh, extra texture to provide a fantasy look so this one is perfect so take this one and go to blending mode and set it in screen take this one in lower size and make this one duplicate take your eagle texture remove this line by using eraser tool and then just drag and drop and make this one and flip it horizontal 
and besides this eagle image and press here and drop down in lower layer so it's look like the eagles come out from this book again make this one duplicate layer and make this one transform and horizontal press here do the same thing again take this one duplicate and make this one horizontal this one is so easy take again one more texture and go to blending mode and set it to screen and this one so now you can see that your works looks like complete fantasy now we are going to take a blank layer go to brush to black and make this one 10% resize your brush size as pressing on bracket key and just little bit apply in that portion make darker background now we are going to brush tool to again take a blank layer then take black white color and a click click behind the model go to upper layer and click blank layer and again click brush tool and again take black and make this one opacity 5 or 6 percent then now apply little bit black in that portion so it's look amazingly fantasy and you can also provide so many extra image just like you can use this image so look like in background the birds are flying in background now we are going to add more birds such like this one and put it always behind the texture again make duplicate and go to edit transform and horizontal This one is cool and now add some extra branches to provide amazing fantasy look. This one is your branch image. Sorry. Then just drag and drop and place it as your wish. And then duplicate this one again and again go to edit, transform and horizontal. And again place in a perfect area so this one is perfect i think this one is perfect add more bunches and again make this one duplicate go to edit transform and flip it horizontal So 
so now this is almost done this to so you can add one more texture behind the girl just set it to screen mode no it's not look so good just remove this one now we are going to add a final touch so we just click on upper layer and go to adjustment layer and go to color balance and then set the color okay so the whole work is done with same color now we match the complete layer by using shift control alt plus e then duplicate this one then go to filter and camera raw now adjust the color first increase the exposure then highlighted area increase highlighted area a little bit increase saturation and then go to sharpness or increase the sharpness just click on this split tone and increase the red area lighter area red make it in what yellow and in shadow area or darker area make this fan color go to fx and minus it then press ok now again go to filter and go to nick collection color fx pro 4 this so increase it or you can choose the another portion of this and decrease this one this is the shadow area the highlighted area last point now press okay then go to adjustment layer and take photo filter and make warm warming filter 85 into 15 then take a blank layer and go to edit go to fill and 50% gray then press okay then press soft light now your work is done if you like this tutorial please subscribe my channel see you soon with new tutorial okay thank you and goodbye